To find the refractive index of glass, we need a glass slab. Then we need a wooden drawing board, which is not available to me right now. So instead of the wooden board, I'm using a book. Then we need a paper and all other geometrical instruments for the experiment. So first, we need to place the glass slab on the paper and take the outline of the glass slab and mark it as PQRS. So here, PS and QR are representing the refracting surfaces. Then, we should mark a point on PS and draw a perpendicular to the surface at the point marked. The dotted line here is the normal at the point of incidence. Next, we must take a line inclined to PS. And name this line as AB. Then, taking a pin, we should fix it on the line AB. Using a pointed pin would be better. Then, taking another pin, fix it about 3 to 4 cm apart from the first pin. Next, place the glass slab back. And here, the boundary of the glass slab must align with the outline we had traced. So here you can see both of the pins. And I think that the first one is a bit tilted. So uh, let me make it vertical, okay? Okay, so that's fine. And now you can see the object pins and its images. So next, we are taking another pin and we must align this third pin with the image of the first two pins. So at a particular angle, the condition mentioned earlier becomes true and we should fix the pin at that point. So taking another pin, the same process must be followed. So finally, we get to see the images of the first two pins and the pins fixed now lined up, that is they are in one line. So now you can just study the shot of the screen. So act a particular position of your eye, as you can see. Now, the pins fixed aligns with the images of the first two pins. Now, we can remove the pins fixed and uh, mark the required point with a dot, just like I'm doing it. So we can remove the other pins and take away the glass slab as well. 
Next, we have to join both the positions and let it meet the surface QR. And I'm naming this line as CD. Then we must join BC. Here, AB is the instant ray, BC is the refracted ray, and CD is the emergent ray. So it should be represented by an arrow mark, which shows its direction. Then taking a compass, we must make a circle of convenient radius, taking B as the center of the circle. And this circle must intersect the incident ray AB and the refracted ray BC. So the point where the instant ray intersects this circle is named here as E and the point where the refracted ray meets the circle is named here as G. Then taking help of a set square, I'm making a perpendicular from the point E to the normal like the point of incidence. So I'm using a dotted line to show that and I'm mentioning that angle is 90 degree and the point as F. In the same manner, we need to make a perpendicular from the point G to the normal like the point of incidence. So again, here I'm using a set square. So you must place the set square well and in fact be accurate in all the steps. So the perpendicular here is represented by a dotted line. And I'm mentioning the angle as 90 degree and naming the point as H. The angle which the normal makes with the incident ray is the angle of incidence, whereas the angle which the normal makes with the refracted ray is the angle of refraction. So I'm mentioning that as I and R. So the refractive index of glass, mu, is equal to sine I by sine R. So for sine we can take help of uh, triangle EBF. So here sine I is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse, that is EF by EB. So let me write that. Next, we need sine R. So for that, we take triangle B, G, H. Sine R is equal to G, H by G, B. So further, we can write this as EF by EB multiplied by GB by GH. So here, GB is equal to EB as they are the red eye of the same circle. So that gets cancelled. Then we get the expression as EF by GH. 
Next, we need a value of EF and so I'm measuring it. And it is 3.1 centimeter. Now we need the measurement of GH. GH is equal to 2 centimeter, 2 point, so 2 point zero centimeter. So that is equal to 1.55. And the refractive index has no unit. And so here, the refractive index of the glass is 1.55.